Morning, y'all. Chief Prepper here. I wanted to talk about something real quick that is going to be a very, very, very difficult transition. If the grid goes down, and like in parts of Texas right now where tornadoes have hit, the grid is down. And it's unbearably hot. Uh, today is the first day in about eight days where we're not going to be 103, 105, 106. It's only supposed to be up to 98, I think. And you would think that that wouldn't be that much, but it's also not quite as humid. Uh, I went hunting Tuesday, and uh, you know it, it was hard on me. It was like really hard on me, and uh, I knew that the transition from the life I live right now, which is for the most part in air conditioning, to being outside and. Uh, I think it got up to 99 or 101 according to the weather app but it was supposed to be 103 in record breaking heat but it was 101 with like 70 to 80 percent humidity so I knew that my transition from being in mostly air conditioning a lot to being in that kind of temperature which is you know 25 30 degree temperature change was going to be hard on me so on the way up uh, I was running my air conditioner in my car, but the window was open, so and it was pretty hot. And then I stopped in a city called Bastrop and went into a Bussies. And uh, air conditioning, I was actually cold uh, in that. And then uh, on another hour north, uh, still running the air conditioner with the window down, so I was getting plenty of the heat. And then the last 10 minutes, I went with no air conditioning. And then when I got there, because I sweat so much all the time anyway, uh, I took my shirt off and I was setting up the little camp area we have where we camp at. And my buddy who was normally there with me, or normally waiting on me, he was not there. I actually got there early. I got there around 5 o'clock and showtime wasn't until 6. And he still showed up in plenty of time and then as I was watching him set up his portion of the, his camp, uh, he soaked through a pair of jeans down to his knees and uh, soaked his shirt through. Um, and then we, uh, we delayed going out into the woods by, I don't think we left until like 6.30 in the evening. Uh, I gave up and quit at 10 o'clock. I'm like, it's, it's, it's too much. And then uh, I was, for the first time in my life, I was using a bandana to wipe my face for the sweat. And uh, I wiped it so much that Tuesday and part of Wednesday morning when I was tearing down the little camp that my face felt like I had rubbed it with sandpaper uh, yesterday evening. It seems to have bounced back today. But and saving grace was when we were done hunting when we actually went to bed around midnight we weren't hunting we i, I told him so i'm not I'm, I'm not helping you clean the pig so don't shoot one so uh i don't think he want i think he would have wanted to kill one had we seen one but he would i don't think either one of us would have survived the three or four hours that it takes to process one in the woods so uh he didn't shoot one, even if he saw one. So then, you know, we sat around and bullshitted a little bit. And then we bullshitted again uh, in the morning, and then we came home. And uh, But that night, the saving grace was my van has an AC on it, so I can actually uh, sleep in comfort. And uh, I'm almost certain that if I hadn't had that, I'd have had a heat stroke. So, uh, I mean, everything was wet. Socks, underwear, T-shirt pants for the most part so. and the mosquitoes even with promethean treated outerwear were pretty horrendous I had to raise my hood up on my uh, I have uh, like a screen like material but it's uh, cloth that helps keep bugs off me that I spray with promethean for my upper torso when it's hot and then uh, spray my pants and then I use mosquito or deep woods off and rubbed the back of my neck and my ears and they were still they were trying to bite me on my I got two bites on my face so, yeah. 
Yeah. So keep that in mind. That transition, uh, especially during the summertime, is going to for the people who live in hot places like where I do. It, it's going to be brutal. I mean, uh, if you don't have backup power, you don't have a way to cool off at least one room, then you're going to be you're going to be miserable. There's a decent chance you'll get overheated and die because it's not going to just be you no know, power. It's going to be arduous labor doing stuff. So, uh, you know. And then I was eating my uh, thermo tabs, which are uh, alkalinity tabs. I think I had six of them, and I managed not to get cramps in the middle of the night, which is really good. So, um, anyway. Information is knowledge of power. A little hunting trip was a part of that. I call that little bit of living and then a lot of prepping. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Keep prepper out.